Good day and welcome to Holy Trinity Church on this Tuesday, November 23rd, the last week of the church calendar's year, the week that began with the Feast of Christ the King, and that will include our observation of the Feast of Thanksgiving in two days' time. Snowing here in Juneau, and somebody's busy building out there. And pray for their oh, they're they're shoveling the snow and the ice. Grant them good help, O Lord. O oh, God makes me to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Today, Psalm 100. 26. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears <coughs> will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the sea, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading today is from the first letter of Peter, continuing chapter 1. Therefore prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourselves. Set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct, for it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. If you invoke as Father the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, Live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the feudal ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now that you have purified your souls by obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed through the living and enduring word of God. 
God. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord endures forever. That word is the good news that was announced to you. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. The good news is that the beauty that is life endures in the Lord forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our cry to you. Let us pray all together. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us. Through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. For those who are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. For those in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Come to you, O Lord. In gratitude for the generosity and memory of friends, I give you thanks for Susan Floyd, that she and keep them strong and well. I give you thanks for recovery, for the celebration of a friend at 60 days. Give you thanks for the help of those who work with us, including Irving out there chipping ice off the sidewalk. Lord, we pray for those who are suffering and struggling, particularly for Jeffrey, for Gail, for Savannah. We pray for those who are lost. Remembering especially today Tom Pennington, who passed from COVID. May he rest in peace, Lord, and rise in glory. Please bring your prayers for healing and thanks at this time.
pray for Meryl that you might strengthen her and sustain her with your presence. Pray, Lord, for generous hearts, for giving, and for your blessing and peace, peace that comes from you alone, the peace of your peaceable kingdom. Amen. Almighty God, who chose your servant Clement of Rome to recall the church in Corinth to obedience and stability, grant that your church may be grounded and settled in your truth by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Reveal to it what is not yet known. Fill up what is lacking Confirm what has already been revealed and keep it blameless in your service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let our eyes be your eyes, sharing compassion, warmth, and love. Let our hands be your hands, bringing healing with their touch. Let our ears be your ears, listening where there is need. And let our words be your words, bringing comfort, joy, and peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God grant to this church and to the world justice, truth, and peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.